The response to me getting this car has been huge and I've been getting a bunch of questions from you guys basically about the car, what's already done to it, what my plans are. A ton of you guys have been like, please keep it rotary, which I do plan on doing. But basically I just wanted to take the time to explain to you guys everything that is done to the car already and some of the plans that I have for the car. Obviously I don't have a full list of plans I have because they're gonna change as I go. But I'm gonna give you like basically an overview of some of the major things that I do plan on doing to the car. Pop the hood real quick. As you guys heard in the last video, uh, the car is already ported. It also has a Turbonetics single turbo and it is tuned on apex it's got a new set of front mount intercoolers new radiator i don't really like the intercooler system and the radiator that's already in the car i'm definitely going to get an upgrade right now i'm looking into mishimoto's product hopefully i can work out a sponsorship deal with them also like i mentioned in the other video uh, it has a stage three clutch it's a little stiff took a little bit of time to getting used to oh yeah and it's a rebuilt five speed transmission uh, so far so good the gear ratios pretty spot on I'm not sure the exact specs on those but I have no complaints so I'm all good in that department it's also methanol injected I'll show you that right now that's one thing I have to fix on the car the struts are messed up I have a replacement pair already but there's the methanol injection right there right now it's just distilled water that it's filled with Definitely need to get some methanol in there. And as far as the suspension, they use KYB shocks and Tanaki springs. Sucks a little bit that they're not coils, but it's not a big deal because to be honest, it's a very well-balanced drive. It's not too stiff, it was super smooth. And the ride height on the car, let me show you guys right here, is in my opinion, perfect. So although I would prefer coils and I'm kind of considering getting coils but ultimately I'm going to be getting bags on the car after I wide body it. Yes guys I do plan on wide bodying it. I got a lot of comments from you guys. The two things that you guys were saying the most were keep it looking the way it is that it's already really clean which I agree the car is beautiful can't agree with you guys more and the second thing that you guys were saying was to keep it rotary i am going to keep it rotary i don't know very much about rotary engines we've never worked on a rotary engine car before still do plan on doing a lot more performance modifications to the car one of the major things though that i do plan on doing is getting a new carbon fiber hood a new bumper new headlights I'm not going to go into specifics of like the exact brand, the exact model number that I'm going to get for each part, just because I'm changing my mind every day. I just have so much floating around in my head and you know, I definitely want this build to be something that I'm proud of at the end of the day. And so I am taking my time and deciding I'm doing a ton of research every day. As far as the wide body kit, I'm not going to do something too drastic. I do want to just get a slight wide body on the car. I definitely want a wing for the car, bags, wide body, the whole nine yards. You know, I'm sorry if that upsets some of you out there that likes the classic look of the car and wants me to keep it original. But at the end of the day, you know, this is a car that I'm going to keep for the rest of my life. And you know, that's my style, that's what I like. I love the way these cars look the way it is, but I also love the way they look wide body. And so I'm gonna go wide body with this car. I'm definitely gonna redo the whole interior and get that looking nice. I already bought a quick release NRG steering wheel. I bought a new shift knob. Basically gonna get like carbon fiber trim pieces throughout the interior of the car. I mean, I know there's a lot more that I'm going to do to the car, but like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a basic overview on what I plan on doing to the car and what's already done just so that you guys kind of up to speed with me so that way everything moving forward that we do to the car, we do it together. And of course, after I wide body and bag it, I'm gonna get some new wheels and tires. I definitely need to clean up the engine bay. It's a little dirty, there's wires everywhere. I definitely need to, you know, better looking wire harnesses so it looks more legit. Dust it off, clean it. Oh yeah, so talking about the wrap color, that's what I forgot to say. So the wrap color that I'm debating on is whether to go black or white. I absolutely love red on this car. I, I love the way it looks, but I've always wanted a car with full red interior and I'm just not feeling the look of like full red interior and then a fully red car. So right now I'm debating between white and black. So if you guys can help me out 
and let me know your opinion on what color I should wrap it. Um, if you can, just comment below and let me know. I really appreciate your feedback. And I'll probably see this when I'm editing it. I don't know why, but when I talk on the phone and when I'm holding a camera to my face, I like to like pace back and forth. So sorry if it's like all this like frame moving all over the place. That's the end of the video. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a basic overview. So if you guys want to see the full build on this RX-7 and everything else that we do plan on doing, make sure that you guys subscribe below. The giveaway winner in our last video was... So congratulations to you. Remember guys, every video we do a giveaway, all you have to do is comment below. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm